One thing I'm learning on this extremely fat phobic app is the minute you mess up, you can count on everyone to tell you how fat you are and that you should die. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's great. Um, I've honestly been loving it. Um, don't keep it coming because uh, the mental health is a little fragile right now. Uh, but sometimes some of us are just doing our best. Didn't the fat acceptance community turn on Tess Holiday because she decided to get in shape or lose weight in some particular type of way? It's obvious. Like, I, I just really wish that Tess Holiday would come to the understanding that she needs to have some drastic changes ASAP because it is not plausible, okay, to be a, a, at a higher body fat percentage like she has been for, I think, going on like a decade at least here. Now, I get it. She's a model, and I'm sure she's in high demand because she's obese, and that's, like, really, really crazy to think about that, that an obese model is making as much money as she is, which is fine, you know, like, if there's a if there's a need for it, if there's a want for it, then that's fine, right? I don't get upset when guys buy feet pictures from women, and sometimes they're not even women, like, the amount of times I've actually met two guys in my real life that have put on a facade and said, hey, I'm a woman. Look at my feet. They're so delicate and warm, and I lotion them consistently. And guys are just sitting there beating off furiously at the idea that a woman has feet, which is crazy to me. I'm not really into feet, to be honest. But if you're into feet, I'm not here to tell you that you're in the wrong for that. It's a little weird, but if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do, right? I would suck a toe if that's what the person that I was with wanted me to do, okay? But I wouldn't do it recreationally. I'm not like going to go down on a woman, especially not a man. I'm not going down on men sucking toes, but... If I was with a woman and she was like, suck on my toes, I'd whatever, whatever she's into, right? But anyway, it's just not plausible for her to be at this size. And I guess she's getting hate on TikTok, which is obvious, dude. But uh, you should be lucky it's on TikTok because a lot of the hate that you get on TikTok is going to be very mitigated given the fact that the, that platform is so incredibly intolerant with literally almost every ideology. But you know what? I love Tess Holiday, dude. I love her. She has an ability to say whatever she needs to say to get her past whatever she needs to, right? She's like the ultimate grifter. I don't think she actually believes anything that she says. I mean, we're seeing a lot of these fat activists nowadays that were like super big like a year, two years, three years ago that are coming to the, the agreement that it's not very good for their health to be fat and they're probably seeing a lot of health complications. So they're going to try to do what they can to get out of that as quickly as possible whilst taking down, uh, whilst mitigating as much of the loss as possible. So they're going to still say what they need to say in order to get by it. We are. And uh, sometimes we we do make mistakes. We do. Like losing weight. Can you believe that? Losing weight is the mistake. Bro, play, bro. What you doing? And uh, sometimes we, we do make mistakes. We do. And we are never going to be perfect. We're not. Ah, I know. I don't know why, like, why people say that. Like, we're never going to be perfect as if that forgives anything that you're going to do. Like, can you imagine, like, a dude running over, like, 50 people and then he's at the judge and the judge like, why do you, why did you do this? Like, why did you, why did you murder all those people? And the guy goes, I'm not perfect. You know I'm not perfect. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I don't know. It's just like, it was just a time and a place. I'm not a per Like, what it called, what it says to me is that you're trying to dismiss the bad behavior, which can be dismissed to certain people, but it's not exactly a, the ideal statement. Like, if you're just going to use that as, like, a, a catch-all, I'm, a, you know, I'm not perfect, therefore, forgive me, that's terrible. Um, but maybe if we, you know, mess up or make a mistake and own it, you know, and, and do all those things, that maybe we could just not say that they're you know, the most disgusting person on the planet and the... Have you never been on the internet before, Tess Holiday? Like, do you not understand that this is the entire makeup of the internet is you say something or you do something and then particular groups of people cancel you for that thing, whether or not you may or may not be wrong on that particular thing? It doesn't matter, dude. And this is one of the reasons why I despise the fat acceptance community. I mean, I love the fat acceptance community in the sense of like these people are so blasphemously crazy. I would hope that they would find a way to get out of it. But it seems like that's just not plausible for a lot of these people. But 
being on the internet, it doesn't matter what you say. And being in the fat acceptance community, you people literally eat your own. I mean, as if you had problems already eating. So you guys, no matter what you say, you will always be canceled by your own side because the ideas that you guys expel, like that come out of your mouth, they don't even make sense organically, let alone when you guys try to make changes for the betterment of your health. If you even do something like, I don't know, going to the gym, a lot of those people would just con they would concede that you're racist. They would they would tell you that you're fat phobic for going to the gym, intentional weight loss. And if you try to tell them, oh no, I'm not going to the gym for intentional weight loss. I'm trying to build muscle. I'm sure they would find a reason why you'd be wrong for that. It's a never ending thing for these people. So I don't even know why these people are even a part of the same organization or group. And again, like if you're a part of the internet, you have to at least understand, like if you make a video like this and you're going, can you guys please stop like not, can you guys just like stop doing this because it hurts my feelings and I'm going through a lot of mental health right now. You, do you think that's going to, we get two options, right? A and B. Do you think that it's A, going to stop altogether, like people are going to be understanding? The people that are quote unquote bullying you or saying mean things to you, do you think they're going to see this and go, you know what? Oh, Tess Holiday is right. I got to stop this. I'm not going to be mean anymore. I'm going to better myself. I'm not going to say anything mean to her anymore. Or do you think option B it's going to enhance because now you're virtue signaling, you're showing that it's getting to you and it's only going to enhance the bullying or whatever else you're receiving on the internet. Do you think that's going to be the thing? Probably that one, right? No, no. Okay. Well, I can assure you it's probably going to be B. Fattest thing to ever walk the earth and that, um, we should just, you know, um, some of us are just holding on so strong and we're trying. It's not going to help you. I promise you, dude, what you're doing right now is you're like a gazelle in the middle of the jungle and there's a tiger and it's licking its chops and it sees you and you know what you're doing? This video, all it's doing is you're just displaying your belly button. You're saying, I sure hope, I sure hope no lions come over and start munching on my shit, body slamming me like I'm the last supper because that's what you're doing right now. That is exactly what you're doing right now. All you're doing is making it worse. We're trying, and uh, that's not helpful. You know what's not helpful is that overline, dude. Damn, man, what hell? What the hell happened here, dude? You got that Kool Aid jammer mouth, man. What what you do here? Um, <laughs> eyebrows also kind of. <gasps> so uh, yeah, that's all. <laughs> okay. How many chins do you have? Hi. I just want to remind you that you are allowed to feel frustrated if you live in a larger body. You know what's interesting is that she can make a video like she just did in the last one and then make videos like this too, like playing two sides of the same coin. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, I can say whatever I want, blasphemous or not, things that don't even make sense that are going to make a lot of people angry. And I can also complain when I make those videos and people say things that, that I think are bullying, which in reality, most of the time, it's probably just people going, wait, hold on, that doesn't make any sense. And I'm going to complain that you do that. I'm going to complain that you tell me that I'm wrong and I'm going to tell you that I have mental health issues and I'm going to tell you that you're the wrong person for telling me that I'm wrong. Rules for thee and not for me. Tess Holiday, listen, if you don't want people to say bad things to you over the internet, don't make videos on the internet. I don't know what else to tell you than that. There are going to be people that say bad things to you regardless of what you say. Sometimes it doesn't even make sense. Sometimes people just say things because they're caught in their ways and they go, your logic is incorrect. And then you look at that and you go, no, that doesn't, that doesn't even make sense at all. What are you talking about? No. That the world does not treat you kindly, that clothes do not fit you, maybe the way that you wish they were, that you don't have as many options, that you are treated differently in society. You can't change society, but you can change your own society in, in, the, in the very general sense of like you can change yourself for society. It's not it's going to be very difficult. And I hate it. I hate it. I hate it when people say that we need to have systemic change or we need to do this and we need to do that and we need to have all these big issues or like you need to go to this grand giant scheme to try to make your life better. When in reality, it shouldn't be like that. It should mostly just be, am I fat? Yes. Do I not fit in clothes anymore? Yes. Do I have a hard time walking upstairs? Yes. Am I out of breath from walking down the street like one block? Yes. Why the fuck did you expect? Society to come through, swing and dick. Big Daddy Joe, come through, swing dick, and what, give you a lazy boy with wheels on the end of it? Like, what do you guys want exactly? Do you guys not realize that it's up to you to make those changes to better your life? You can't just expect everybody to come through and change your life for you as if that it would even do anything. If anything, you're just enabling. 
you're just enabling that person's bad behavior. And that really sucks because if you're consistently being rewarded for your inability to do something positively for yourself, you're never going to get out of the environment that you're in, which is a lifestyle of deteriorating health, eating copious amounts of calories that are doing nothing for you, and then go on the internet to complain again. Uh, I mean, hey, bro, it makes for good content, so that you don't get paid as much because that's a real statistic. It just depends on what you mean by it's a real statistic. Sometimes people look at just raw numbers and they can see they, they can see that, oh, this this is how I know it's racist. This is how I know it's wrong because there's this statistic somewhere said this and I believe that. Sometimes people need to go a little bit deeper into that because like if you're looking at numbers and let's say hypothetically the numbers say fat people on average make 50% less money than their thin counterparts, hypothetically. I don't know if that's a true statistic, right? I'm just saying. Then you go, I knew it, systemic problems, the government, the society at large, it's fat phobic. Can you look a little deeper into it? Could it be that maybe the reason why these fat people don't make as much money as thin people is because they don't work as often? Could it be that they don't have the ability to work in the same facilities as the thin people? Could that be it? Could it be that when you're fat, that you don't have the ability to work to the same degree that a thinner person might. Do you understand that there might be some kind of nuances to this? Or maybe not even nuance. Maybe this is just a general idea that the fatter that you get, the more inability you have to work in particular establishments. I don't know, bro. I've worked in a lot of places. And when I've worked with fat people, they don't really work as much as the thinner people. And it's really crazy given the fact that you guys are literally packing on energy storages like crazy and they're doing nothing but just defects in society that you don't get paid as much and i also don't like the virtue signaling too why is every video always like i'm feeling bad i feel like i'm being bullied i'm getting mistreated and then also hey society's treating you bad society's mistreating you society's making you feel bad why is it never accountability i i, I just i really despise it when you can easily do something to make yourself more healthy more more accessible to society and instead you just make a tiktok video saying just the, the worst shit to try to forgive yourself or forgive other people when they when it's up to them to make their own decisions because that's a real statistic you are allowed to be upset about those things you are allowed to demand and ask companies to do better because they know better it's just like again you guys are not taking accountability for yourself if you can't wear clothes in stores I feel like sometimes people miss the messages, right? Because, like, I remember I made that video on that Leo Skippy shit. And there were some people in the comment section like, so you think that fat people, you think that fat people shouldn't have clothes? When did I say that? I think, actually, in that video, if everybody watched that video, I did say I want fat people to wear clothes. And I want fat people to feel comfortable within their clothes. But sometimes, when people hear that, Maybe they don't hear the full statement or something, or they're only selective hearing. I do want fat people to have clothes. I do want fat people to wear things that are comfortable. But the sometimes, it's just not plausible. You understand in the same way that I want to travel to a different universe, or I want to, I don't know, like, have a gajillion dollars. There are plenty of things that I want to happen, but that doesn't mean necessarily that it's possible to happen. So when I hear people say this, say this stuff like, oh, you should do this, or you should feel, what you're actually saying is you want something to happen, outside the realm of possibilities because you could say that fat clothes are something that is possible and it is possible but to what degree is it possible you guys do realize that you could do something for yourself to make yourself more accessible to society and then also if we did make clothes or whatever it may be we equalize the pay gap or whatever do you think necessarily that would increase productivity do you think that would increase more sales for clothes maybe at first but then that could then i feel like it would just quickly drop off given the fact that most people that are at these sizes that complain at getting clothes are so massive that most of the time they're not even leaving the house let alone buying clothes so if you really think that this is something that serious do it yourself change yourself it's never why is it always somebody else's problem you are allowed to take up space you are allowed to wear whatever the hell you want to wear you can wear whatever you want to wear but but you can't expect people to look at that and go oh my god that shit look bad like how many times have I been outside and I saw a very, very obese person wearing leggings or something that was just very disgusting seeing? Now, you can wear it, but it'd be like the equivalent if I went outside and I was wearing like a G-string, but it was like see-through and you just saw all like 19 layers of my meat. 
people would look at that and they would judge me and they would say things and that's okay because obviously I'm displaying things that is not practical. They're not practical for most society, right? In the same way that if you're fat and you want to wear whatever you want, you can't expect other people to look at that and go, oh, wow, well, that looks really good. Well, wow, that person looks really delightful. No, people have their own opinions and things such and so forth. And most people, when they look at fat people, they don't like it. Uh, at least not when they wear those particular types of things. And you are but wear whatever you want. Allowed to get pissed off as many times as you want to get pissed off. If you see someone telling you to do otherwise, kick them to the curb. You can complain, but most of the, if you're just complaining to complain and there's no solution, like, I don't know, dude, get a boyfriend, I guess. I, there are plenty of times where you can like confide in the people that you love. Like you can complain to things and this, this and that. And sometimes you just do want to complain, which is fine. Like there are plenty of times where I just want to say things that just don't make sense. And I just want, I don't want a solution. I just want to complain. That's fine. But Given the fact that this is somehow a systemic issue, given the fact that this is something that's negatively affecting you for potentially your entire life, how is it that you guys can just complain and have nothing happen? Like, you guys do realize you've been complaining about the same thing for like the last seven, eight, nine years, right? It's never going to change at this point. Like, you guys are asking, 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 and nothing ever happens. So, I mean, you can complain. Nobody's saying that you can't complain, but it's bottomless. It doesn't lead to anything. Because that ain't it. I think it's time that I reintroduce myself. My name is Tess Holiday, and I am a diversity and inclusivity consultant. What does that even mean? Diversity, inclusivity, the most general terminologies you can possibly say. Diversity in what degree? Like, what makes you so qualified to talk on diversity? That's a weird thing, too. What is diversity exactly? Just fat people? Black people? Asian people? What is it? Inclusivity as well. Isn't that just another word? Isn't that synonymous for diversity? Whatever, Tess Holiday. I have also been a plus size model for the last 14 years. So you told me that you've been really, really unhealthy for the past 14 years. That's what I got from that. And I founded F Your Beauty Standards, which was one of the first viral body positive hashtags 10 years ago this year, okay? So I'm not new to this, okay? I've been doing the work. I also work in fat acceptance because I think it's very important for the world to understand that larger bodied folks get treated a lot differently. Everybody gets treated differently. And sometimes you can't even change the things that you're treated differently for. So much of somebody's value is literally determined based off things that they cannot change. Like I'll give you a good example. You are a very smart person. Like you grew up, you have like an IQ of 200, but you grew up in like the rice fields of Vietnam in the 1970s. What the fuck are you gonna do? Nothing, there's no way to get out. There's nothing you could do. In the same way that for instance, you grew up in the hood and there's no like jobs around you. There's nothing that you can do besides selling drugs or I don't know, gangbanging and things such and so forth. But there, if there was opportunities, you'd be able to take it, right? Sometimes a lot of somebody's value is just things that they cannot control. And that's really terrible because somebody can ruin their entire life just from that. And it wouldn't even be their fault, right? Just poor circumstances. But when it comes to things like this, you can change this, Tess. This is not even like a talking point, dude. People and larger bodies are treated differently along with everybody else. There are plenty of people, big mustached men such as myself are treated differently in society. Do you see how blanket statement that is? And you know the difference, right? If I don't want to be a big mustached man, you know what I can do? I can just zzz, zzz, zzz. in the same way that you, as a fat person that's treated unfairly in society, you can easily go to the gym. You can eat. Well, maybe not go to the gym. Not your size. I saw those exercise videos on your knees. I couldn't even believe how your. I want to know if your knees are feeling pain after all those exercise videos. But you can calorie deficit. You can lose weight organically. There are plenty of things that you can do to not be in the category of plus size. But the problem with Tess Holiday and a lot of these people that are in the like, social media space building, building their audience off of fat acceptance is that now they have no choice but to represent it. They have boxed themselves in to this fat acceptance arena to where if they ever try to reach out or try to lose weight or be exercising or whatever, people look at them differently. People will shit on them all the time. And I see it. You see it. Lizzo lost weight. And now people are shitting on her for losing weight. They don't like her because of that, which is really, really sad. You remember when Adele lost weight? People were shitting on her. It's terrible. But you reap what you sow. You say things that are blasphemous. And then you get upset when people call you out on doing the things that are virtuous. You do understand that, right? You can't you can't do both things simultaneously. You need to rep it one way or the other. And you know what? If you ever do plan on coming into the other side, it's not like I would I would highly recommend you do, but don't expect other people to not say something about it. 
Kentucky. I am sick and tired of people getting on this app and thinking they are an expert about everything that they want to talk about. That's interesting, dude. Expert on everything they're talking about as you laid out your qualifications before you said something. Interesting. Just because they have a phone and five minutes of free time. Diversity and accessibility change lives. We've seen it over and over again. And if somebody is telling you that those things aren't- Bagels save lives. That's a, is a, what, is a state, what is a statement? Can you go into it a little bit more? What do you mean by it changes lives? Bagels change lives. I don't know, thick thighs save lives. Like, what do you mean? Can you please enlighten us? You just sat there and told us that People on the internet that think that they're an expert with five minutes of time with the phone can say a lot of things that don't make any sense, or at least they don't have the backing to say it, but you have the backing. You can't just make general statements and just leave it there. You have to expand off of them a little bit, especially if you just came off the back end of telling people that if you have five minutes of time in a phone, that's not necessarily a good thing. What are you doing right now? Is this not five minutes of your time on a phone? Can you explain a little bit? Are you not the same person that you're complaining about? We've seen it over and over again. And if somebody is telling you that those things aren't important then they need to take a big look at themselves if somebody loses weight i just gotta tell you something right now okay you can't you can say whatever you want but if the statements are very general in the senses of like oh if somebody says this then they need to look at themselves and they need to do the work do the work on what why am i wrong you can't just say i'm wrong and just leave it there why am i wrong why Tess holiday and they then they need to take a big look at themselves. If somebody loses weight and they look in the mirror and they're like, ah, oh, I was so disgusting before. True. Bestie, that's still you, okay? You need to work on that. We don't all need to hear that. We don't. What? So what do you mean we all don't need to hear that? Why don't we need to hear that? The truth? We don't need to hear the truth? If you were very, very obese and you had like yeast infections under your armpit or you had human beings growing in your belly button or something like that, whatever. It's it's pretty it's pretty obvious that people are gonna have those experiences when they lose weight. They're gonna look back and go, I can't believe I was in that body for as long as I was. You are the same person in the very, I guess, like generic sense. It's true, like you are the same person, but what is the point of that? Like you're the same person, therefore you shouldn't talk about talk down about yourself. That 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 you that was four years ago. I know I'm not the same person that I was four years ago. I might have believed things that were blasphemous compared to where I was now. And it's not good, by the way, to go through your life and have zero changes. Like you should be different mentally and physically speaking. You shouldn't be the same person that you were at 22, 23, 24 than you are at 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. You should be different. You should have different ideologies. You should know that what you were thinking before then, maybe I'm not saying like the, everything, but you should have very key moments in your life where you go, I was wrong. This is not true. I have learned from my mistakes. For somebody like Tess Holiday to see to see this as like a bad thing, like, oh, that's still the same body. You shouldn't be shitting on your body in this particular type of way. First of all, Tess Holiday, it's my body. And I can shit on whatever body, whatever my body wants to, right? And if I want to say that my body didn't look as optimal as it does now, I can say that. If that hurts your feelings, get off the internet. There's no other way to say it than that. If you're literally looking at this as some kind of like hateful speech that somebody is telling them, oh man, my before and after, I look so much better now. I got so much more muscle. I feel more active and you consider that to be like hate speech or something like that, you have issues. You literally have some major issues and you should reconsider how you approach the internet because it's very clear to me that you can't handle it, especially given the fact that you just did that video complaining that people were bullying you online or whatever they were saying to you. You can't handle it. If you can't handle heat, get out the kitchen. Simple as that. Slay Queen Edges. Oh, that's your shit. A brand not making your size in something does not give you grounds to talk shit and degrade. Oop. I don't think this is going to go the way you want it to, bestie. Um, I've seen you at many of parties, um, and I've seen you talking to a couple uh, plus size TikTok baddies. I also know that you have been or have previously hung out with Teffy. Um, who I know just like a little bit outside of this app. And I just like, and I'm not sorry, Teffy in advance. I'm not trying to like bring you into this, but I'm just like a little confused that you have associated yourself around. I know a lot of people that would hear this take and be like, mm, no boo. We are dude. 
this is a very bad take, bro. To sit there and say you were friends with a guy or you were talking to a guy that said something I don't like. Therefore, aren't you bad as well for doing that? I don't think that's how it works, dude. Sometimes people are quite ambiguous quite ambiguous on the stances that they take on certain things. And, you know, you're not going to fully know somebody's all take on something when you first meet them or hang out once or twice, dude. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to develop that out. And it's not just something as simple as like, oh, uh, yeah, you hung out with this guy and now he's saying something really, really crazy. Uh, you kind of seem like a crazy person. Now, this is actually terrible. That's actually one of the worst takes I've ever heard in my life. Because like, if that was the case then that would mean like, that means every time you've talked to somebody in your entire life, you are now liable to be held up to scrutiny because you talk to that individual about something, whether that be what they were talking about that got them canceled for it then or not. Now you are also going to be in the same boat as them or that's, that's, a, that's a terrible way of looking at anything in life ever. No, that no, absolutely not Tess Holiday. This is dumb. Okay. This is a dumb take Tess Holiday. Dumb. This is stupid. I know that you're not stupid. I know you're like a super grifter and you'll say whatever it takes in order to, but why would you throw people under the bus like this, dude? How do you even know that person, whoever that was, Teffy? How do you know that person even believed anything that they were saying? Or like, how do you know they had a conversation directly about that? And by the way, what that dude said, by the way, that dude Skippy, um, so what? Like, Leo didn't even say anything in so extraordinarily crazy. Like, he didn't come out and say like, oh, the gays are going to rule the world and the gays are the best. Anytime you could suck a man's genitalia, you're consuming energy from another man, making you more manly. Like, he's not saying that. He was just saying that being fat is not a good thing. And if you want to get more clothing options, then you should probably become thinner in order to get those clothing options. So, <sighs> weird. Uh, so I just kind of think it's weird that you are inserting yourself into a conversation that has absolutely nothing to do with you, honey. What are you talking about right now, Tess Holiday? How do you even know that you're viable within this discussion? That is a fucking... What are you talking about? This mentality of, like, you are not a part of this organization, even though that dude Skippy literally has said that he has been fat in the, in the, in the past and that he had lost weight and now he is no longer fat. So do you think that somebody that was fat that is no longer fat can talk about something that is involving fat people that, you know, I don't even believe that from the baseline of like, if you've always been thin, you shouldn't be able to talk about it. And I know you don't believe that either, because if there was a fat person saying the same thing that Skippy was saying, you would also feel the same way about that. You would not want them talking about it either. And I'm sure you would come up with some excuse to justify that claim. Maybe you're saying like they, they, they've been brainwashed or they're believing something that they shouldn't believe or whatever whatever, right? Or maybe they're just bad people. You would say that as well. Don't act like this Leo Skippy situation is anything other than a general thing. Anybody that says this is going to be demonized in your eyes. So no, Tess Holiday, I don't care that you think that this person shouldn't talk about something, even though they are literally a part of your organization. They've been a part of it. They've had the experience. What are you talking about? That'd be like me going to a doctor's office and it's a woman's doctor and I'm going, nah, I can't be treated by you because you're a woman. You're a woman and you don't know what it's like to be a man. You know what? Get out of my room. I need a man, fully musted up man. Bring a dude with a big dick. I want to see the penis before I see the face. Have him come in so I can have him admire my genitalia as well. Nah, dude, that's not how it works, man. No, you don't need, it's almost like as if these people don't understand that there is a way to actually understand things that you're not a part of. You do understand that, right? Anyway. Funny. and your fat phobia is showing it's showing your fupa is showing i mean let's be honest you know so what if the fat phobia is showing why does it matter it's not even fat phobia you know what's really crazy is that they have this like they they say that what leo skippy was fat phobia but if you go back and watch the original video i will struggle to find the fat phobia that dude was incredibly nuanced that dude was literally giving these people so much so much leeway and still they considered him to, they considered him to be fat phobia which is one of the reasons why I don't think this organization really has any type of claim to anything at this point because they're just saying shit to just get their point across it and they, they completely back down on their same points like over and over and over again. They don't actually have any solid claims. do with you, honey, and your fat phobia is showing. It's showing. Double chin is showing. it's weird. I think it's weird. Um, I almost went up to you at the Savage Fenty party last year because I enjoyed your content and I was going to say hi. And something told me not to. Dude. The energy told me not to. I Tess Holiday, dude. What the fuck are you doing right now? What is this video? Your energy told me not to? What are you talking about, man? So you just knew that he was bad? 
a full year ago. What did he say that was bad? Man, dude, these people need to calm the fuck down. These people real deal need to calm down, man. And honestly, I'm really glad I listened to that energy because... Because you're not being canceled along with him. People would have like said something along with it. They would have said that you're fat phobic because you had a conversation with the guy at one point in time. Is it, isn't that the real thing here? This is not cute. And normally I wouldn't make a video like this. I'm just sitting on my couch, watching Nailed It, editing some videos, just being a fat bitch. Okay. Um, but I just think it's weird. The, mo the most truthful statement in the entire video. Just being a fat bitch. Um... But I just think it's weird. I think that this take is just so weird. I You can't can you actually say why the take is weird or why you disagree with the take? I don't like it when people say, I think this take is bad. That's it. That's all you have to say. You can't say anything more on it. You're making a whole video. And the only things that you've actually said in this video was, oh, you you hung out with somebody. Now I'm questioning their allegiance of the person that you hang out with. And then also your fat phobia is showing, which is like, I don't even think that was fat phobia. So I don't even know if you know what you're talking about at this point. And if you're going to sit there and say this take was weird while making one of the worst takes on the internet about a take that wasn't weird at all and then not expel not explain not say anything about anything that you're saying that is not the right thing tess holiday you are failing upward right now i'm baffled honestly can you explain why why are you baffled why you're not saying why you're just saying you're baffled I mean, what would you know about not fitting into clothes? Or Wasn't he literally fat? What are you fucking... What? Dude, the guy was literally obese. What do you mean? What would you know about not fitting into clothes? That's like me going to like an abortion convention. Like, yes, women should get an abortion. And then a woman comes over like, what would you know about having abortions? What? I, I'm sorry that like... What do you mean? Like, I can't research things. I can't like... I can't, I, I can't like understand your, your shit. Like, what are you talking about? Even if he wasn't fat, do you think that he has an un inability to understand things from a baseline? Do you not, do, what are you talking about right now? How does this even ha You know, I'm not a cat, but I know what a cat is. You know, I can understand what, how cats are and how they act and things such and so forth. Right. So I don't understand how you can sit there. Can you, can you please explain? Can you please explain? Cause right now this take is actually terrible. You're having clothes that fit you is that is that something that you've struggled with or the didn't he literally say that he struggles to find clothes in his size already since he's six foot seven he can't find shoes he can't find jackets he can't find pants because he's so massive of a man that it's hard for him to fit in anything isn't that literally something he said in the video did you even watch the video test holiday what the fuck, dude? If his fat phobia is showing, your ignorance is showing. Did you not even watch? What was the video? Like three minutes? You couldn't spare three minutes of your time to understand exactly what he was saying before you made this bullshit ass video that you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about? You're literally just slandering names right now and saying that he's a bad person because he made a video that you disagree with without any type of nuance, without any explanation, and that's all you're doing. It's all, it's just you just being upset and not knowing why. You just want to go with the mob. That man. That you struggle with? Mm. No, I. What do you mean? No, he said it in the video. He said it in the video. What do you mean? No, you didn't watch the video? The fuck is wrong with you, Tess Holiday? Go back. Here, here's what I want you to do, Tess Holiday. Delete this video because you're dumb as shit in this video. That's crazy. Your mental capacity has got to be like five right now. You need to delete this video real quick. I, right? I'm gonna walk you through it because I know it might be a little bit hard for you. Delete this video real quick. Go watch that original video, okay? Watch it. Oh, it, oh, have your listening ears on, okay? Intake the information. Maybe you did watch the video. Maybe this whole thing's for nothing. And then in that case, you're just dumb because if you listen to the video and you heard of what he said and you still came away <coughs> with the fact that he doesn't have any experience while being fat, he was fat, and he's also a big big man and he has a lot of problems finding clothes organically he's literally said that in the video then if that's the case and you understood all that and you still made this video then i guess you're just dumb but if you didn't i want you to delete the video and then remake the video after you said all that stuff give him a little bit more credit because he you are literally lying about all this it, it none of this makes any sense none of it literally none of this because this is this is actually hilariously bad like you you did you not watch the video you've struggled with or that you struggle with mm. no i no, yeah. i was like waiting for you to say something yeah, but never. i don't think i'm gonna hear you what do you mean you were waiting for him to say something so you just didn't watch the video so you you 
So you literally just didn't watch the video. Did you see like the first five seconds of the video and you just determined that he was a bad person without listening to the rest of what he said? Do you not understand what context is? If it's a three minute video and you watch the first 20 seconds of it, do you think that you're like a connoisseur? Didn't you just tell me that people like get on the internet with five minutes of their time and just make a bullshit video without actually understanding what they're doing? Isn't that literally what you're doing right now? Did you, you really didn't watch the video? I, I don't know what the timestamp was in that video, but I'm pretty sure in the video he said that him being fat, he couldn't find clothes, and then he had to lose weight in order to find clothes to put himself in a category where it's more accessible for him. And even when he did put himself in that category, he still has a hard time finding clothes because he's six foot seven and he's like 200 and something pounds, and he's already still a big man, like organically speaking. So you're just dumb. So you're just dumb. You just didn't watch the video. That's all you got to say. I mean, that's fine. That's fine if you want to just make a bullshit video trying to virtue signal, even though you have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, I'm calling, I'm calling Tess Holiday out. Let's do a video together, Tess Holiday. Let's talk about it. But first, I want, I'm going to need you to watch that video. Say something about that because that's not, that's not something that you would know anything about. What is wrong with this woman, dude? That is so crazy, bro. That'd be like a guy that drives at NASCAR. And then Tess Holiday come over and be like, you know, I just don't think you really understand about cars. Like, I just don't think, um, what do you, what do you even do for work? Like, what, what is that? Like, you don't, I don't care. Like, personally, you don't even understand cars. You don't understand about wheels. You don't understand about gasoline. You don't know about none of that, actually, even though that, you know, I could have easily just watched the video and saw you win that, like, Stanley Cup or whatever they celebrate, the big NASCAR trophy thing. And they, like, spill Budweiser on you. I don't know. You, you could have easily just watched the three minute video. What were you doing? You really couldn't watch three minutes video. Like that's literally a, the, the whole entire content of this video. Like you're making a response video to that one. It would be pretty beneficial to at least watch three minutes too. three minutes. Dude, I've watched entire podcasts that were like hours long just to understand some of you guys' opinion. You couldn't give that dude Leo three minutes. Three minutes? Interesting. Interesting. All to seem like the good guy when you're not even the good guy. You're just the dumb guy. That's not, that's not something that you would know anything about. Um, and as someone that has modeled and been on runways and worked for designers, I can yeah. tell. So what this is, is like speaking from a realm of authority. You know, you're saying basically like, I know what I'm talking about because I've been in this industry and I've experienced it firsthand. And again... You're literally coming from it from a place of this guy hasn't, he doesn't have the experience. When he does have the experience, he literally said it in the video. Tell you that they do want us in their clothes, the ones that have worked with us. And yeah, maybe not everybody in the world kisses our fat asses, uh, but there are designers that work with us. So, um, yeah. I don't know what else to say. Because That's fine. You shouldn't have even made this video, if I'm being honest. You shouldn't have said anything in this video. This is crazy. Everything else is going to sound mean, and I don't want to be like you. Okay. Yeah, totally fine. That's like somebody going, that's like, somebody going like oh, I'm, I'm not going to do it. You know, I'm not going to be the guy that goes out of my way and says something mean. I mean, I totally could say something about how you busted in the mouth and, you know, you, you, your neck is slanted and you look like a Venus flytrap inverted. And, you know, you got crispy, you got crispy toenails and all this other stuff. But I'm not going to be that person. I'm really not going to be the person that tells you that you're busted and that, you, you know, you're gay. And none of that stuff is really, you're not attractive in any, I'm not going to be that person. I mean, you could be that person. I'm not going to be that person. I mean, I'm per, I'm a good guy. I mean, I would never do that. But anyway, you're gay. But I would never say that. I would never say that. That's what I'm basically hearing from you. I don't want to say something mean, but while saying something mean. This entire video could should not have been made, Tess Holiday. This is actually a bad reflection on you. I don't know what else to say because everything else is going to sound mean and I don't want to be like you. Uh, but ew. Ew, yeah, definitely. Ew. Yep. If you're a mom. Totally true, dude. Don't even try to, don't even try to argue the point. Just say ew. Works every time. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have been experiencing this, but something that I have been noticing is I've had a lot of people have diet talk while at the table or in a vicinity where there's food involved when my kids are around. We have a no diet talk rule or when we are sharing maybe certain things that we are feeling. Maybe we're having like icky thoughts and we're in a safe space where we feel like we can share. We have these conversations. 
But in general, there's a no diet talk rule. And I don't know if it's because we've had such- Uh, says who? Uh, if, if it's somebody else's mom or- Like, exactly what are you talking- Man, again, like, you're just being too general here. I don't even know what you mean by diet talk. Like, were you guys at a lunch table and somebody's kid was there and the kid was like, Bob, Bob, I want an ice cream sandwich, but I want five of them and I want to eat them all at once. And did the mom go, no, honey. Ice cream sandwiches are not good for you right now. We have to eat actual food. And then maybe afterwards we can get one ice cream sandwich because it's all about moderation. And moderation is key, especially becoming an adult, honey. Is that what you consider diet talk? How about we let the parent decide what is and what is not considered diet talk? How about we let the parent decide how they're parenting the kid instead of you just coming out of nowhere and going, how about we just not talk about that? How about we just like don't have that at the dinner? This is a safe space. First of all, what are you talking about, dude? What an olive garden. Where is a safe space? a shift in the diet culture language and it's driving me absolutely crazy dude, you can eat i don't know what's up with Tess holiday getting triggered about shit that doesn't even make sense dude you're getting so you got triggered about the leo skippy video which you didn't even watch you got triggered about people leaving mean comments that you literally facilitate on your own and you also reciprocate by also saying mean comments like this video for instance and now you can't even take it when people are around you that are your friends that are talking to their family in a way that is going to benefit them especially when you're considering like oh yeah diet is something you're going to do for the rest of your life and may be good to instill some good values into your child especially about things that they're going to do for the rest of their lives like it just kind of seems like you're just not ready i mean it's just you know i don't know what to tell you like you know for somebody that has layers and layers of fat your skin is incredibly thin you just can't handle even not even not not even the internet but the real life the more i sit and think about this the more yeah, i definitely gotta sit i mean that's a fact that's a that's a complete fact it's driving me absolutely crazy the more i sit and think about this the more I just feel called to share with you guys. Try to be conscious if you are around little ones, little ears. You know, Actually, what, I, you know what I love about Tess Holiday is that she has so much projection, doesn't she? She 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 projects outwards so much by saying things like all, you know, you don't know anything you're talking about. You're, you know, you, you don't have the insight. You don't have the knowledge. All you have is TikTok and five minutes to make a video. And then every single video is just her not having any idea what she's actually talking about. Just speaking based off feelings, which is fine. If you want to talk about feelings, just preference it. Just preference. I know there's a person that says it's preface or whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it. I've only, I've only ever heard it say preference. So I'm going to say preference, right? You just preference it with, hey guys, I'm just gonna let you guys know that everything I'm saying in this video doesn't make any sense at all. It's just coming from a place of ignorance and bliss. And also, I have no fucking idea what this conversation is gonna be about. But anyway, here's my thoughts on it. Just say that. Just say that. Because otherwise, you're, you're talking from, you always, you always talk from a realm of like authority. I was a model. I know about this stuff. They, these industries work for me. I've been in this industry for so-and-so years, 15 years, whatever the fuck. And then you say the most bullshit, blatant, fucking untruth truths that you could possibly say. It doesn't make sense, Tess. Make it make sense. It doesn't even matter. Um, children, young adults, try to be conscious when you are maybe talking about your body, especially, you know, the weight loss drugs or maybe different celebrities that you feel a way about with their bodies, which is weird, but people discuss other people's bodies what, what is that weird i didn't know that was weird you never had like you know tess holiday aren't you literally in an industry where people talk about your body aren't you literally a model like haven't you been in an industry where it's literally defined by how your body looks are is Tess Holiday got like some kind of mental deficiency? Is is am I hearing something that I shouldn't be hearing right now? What do you mean like oh it's kind of weird that people talk about other people's bodies? Tess Holiday, uh, we have entire industries dedicated to us talking about other people's bodies. You're a model. You should notice um, bodybuilding. Uh, I don't know professional eating, m fucking pornography. There is entire industries off that basis. I don't know why you're acting like this is a far fetched idea when you're literally involved in the industries suck with literally sponges and how they are listening to everything you say so like what's the alternative just say nothing and just tell them to eat those 15 ice cream sandwiches i'm sure it's gonna be fine do you even understand what you're saying right now tess holiday uh, all right man whatever to everything you say so just remember that the little ones are always listening um and even i myself am like having a hard time with like hearing it all the time so 
Yeah, just want to pass it on. Yeah. This is about people and that- Tess Holiday is actually dumb. I think Tess Holiday literally is lacking mental capacity. I don't know if she's ever had the time to actually sit. Well, I mean, she has a lot of time to sit down, but I don't think she actually thinks about what she says. Or maybe, she, maybe it is just the grift. Maybe she is just saying what she wants to say in order to get by or say the things to appease the audience that are most definitely believing his bullshit. It's just really sad because Tess Holiday will literally come on here, say how she feels, none of it makes sense, and then make another video explaining why she's hurt that people are saying things that are disagreeing with her. When in reality, all the shit that you said would just didn't make sense. So it's obvious that people were going to say shit back. Build entire platforms with the help of plus size people, of marginalized groups, and then when they change their bodies, um, it appears that a lot of people have also completely forgotten that just because they are now skinnier, smaller, whatever, uh, that that fat person is still them, that those two people are the same person because then they go and shit on the community that helped them garner their success. Most of the time when you're fat and you lose weight, you realize that being fat was not a good thing. And you might've been working under this like facade or this illusion of being fat is okay. But then when you lose weight, you see that that's probably not the case. And now you have nuance and you understand things a little bit better. It happens with everybody with age, hopefully. And usually if you now come to the realization that something was wrong, you wish you, maybe if you have a platform or you have people around you, you wish to bestow upon them the information and that is okay. You should because obviously now you know something more than what you did and then maybe other people are disillusioned by this falsehood that you wish to expel out of their mind and you want to tell them. That's okay. For some reason, these people think that you shouldn't tell truth even it, because the people originally that you built your audience off of are, I guess, people you lied to but you didn't know you were lying to. Mm, it's not lying. It's not lying. Maybe Tess Holiday is lying right now because lying requires intent and you need to know that you're lying in order for that to happen. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm getting too deep. Too deep. It's the same comments. It has nothing to do with someone losing weight. She has to say that because Tess Holiday has lost a little bit of weight. And if anyone was in the body positive, body neutrality, whatever space, you guys would actually know that. And that's what I'm speaking about. And that's what I'm tired about. And it's not just me. There are a ton of people um, that have been speaking about this. A ton of people is a very, very poor choice of words, dude. That ton of people is like three, three people. And we'll continue to. And it's a cycle that I have seen happen over and over the last decade plus. But this is actually the worst that I have seen it since I've been in the industry. So no, no one here is anti-weight loss we don't need to look in the mirror and face our delusions because guess what we probably fat people probably do that more than a lot of people i know because we have to face those things every single day reality you have to face reality in the circumstances that maybe being fat is not going to benefit you in everyday life what is even this video, man? I'm sick of Tess Holiday, dude. Like, I, I know we've only been watching this video for like eight minutes. Well, I guess technically the video is, old, you know, a lot longer than that. But Tess Holiday is so entitled, dude. Way too entitled. You can definitely tell she's the type of person that grew up very privileged. Uh, I could be wrong on that, but you could tell that she's very privileged. You could tell that she's talking from a realm of like, oh, I know what I'm saying. And you don't know what you're talking about. And that's just like hold to her. Ah, man, dude, she's just... In my opinion, way too entitled, bro. This shit is actually agonizing to listen to. We are reminded that no one wants to be us, look like us, be anywhere near the proximity of fatness because I don't know if you knew, it's contagious. Um, so be careful. Don't it's contagious in the aspect of like, you are fat and you're probably going to advocate for being fat because you don't see there, there to be a problem with being fat, even though I know you're dealing with the problems of being fat, but you're going to say whatever you have to say in order for everybody else to accept you and things that are, you know, obviously untrue. Don't go around any fat people. You might get it. I have always said that I believe that everyone should do what they want with their body. That's the entire reason I created F Your Beauty Standards because F it. Do what you want, portray yourself how you want, but don't shit on the people that helped you get to where you're at. You don't even believe that though, because hear me up. Tess Holiday is working at the assumption that the people that built you up, right? 
those are the people that you should be appeasing the most. But if you honestly believe that the people that built you up or the organization that you were once a part of is no longer what you represent, do you still owe allegiance to those people if you no longer believe that same thing? Probably fucking not, right? That doesn't make any sense. And given also the fact that it's not just fat people, it's fat people that believe a certain thing. You don't think all fat people, objectively speaking, are the people that you want to be represented by. You want a very particular group of fat people, which are the ones that believe the bullshit that you're talking about. So even within your own statement, it doesn't make sense. And I know you don't believe in that because if you in this particular argument, because it, it, the way that you're using this shit, you're basically saying that you're held hostage by things you no longer believe in because these are the people that built you up. That's really, really gross. Okay, so funny story. I've actually never shared this, and I don't know if I'm talking- No one your size has made it to the ripe age of 80. In fact, no one your size has lived past 50. Yeah, this is a factual statement, dude. I mean, but then again, if you don't really care about it, which I don't think many people- I think most people are lying when they say that stuff, or at least they believe it in the moment, but once they get to that age, they realize that they fucked up, and that, that, that the whole time in their life that they, they could have been doing something progressive to enhance their life expectancy. They made it to that age that they are, and now their life is terrible because they have all these illnesses and all this stuff that makes them their life terrible, right? So I often see this when it comes to financial situations where people don't save money and people don't put towards like retirement or whatever the fuck, and that are in constant debt, and they always go, ah. Eh. I, I'm on, I'm not going to make it to 30. I'm not going to make it to 40. So it doesn't matter. But then they make it to 30 and then they make it to 40. And then they realize, holy shit, I'm already at this age. So I might as well keep going because now you have more responsibilities. Maybe you have a kid, maybe you have a family, maybe you have people that depend on you, whatever it may be. I see that all the time. And this could be even more amplified to the fact that when you're at that age, you want to be at least relatively healthy, healthy to take care of people around you and people that are also going through problems, right? And it's very, very selfish to have this mentality of like, I don't care, I'm going to die anyway, or whatever the fuck. I think that's terrible. Like, it's it's really, it might be okay to do when you're like 21, um, but once you make it to these elder ages, right, it, it's not, it's not, it's not cute to not be able to walk when you're 42. It's not cute that you have, I don't know, type 20 diabetes when you're 35. It's not good, okay? But you want to live like that? You can, but just know that it's going to be terrible for you when you reach these ages. You're not going to be 20 forever. You're eventually going to hit a wall where your body is going to say, fuck you. No, we're not doing this anymore. You've been feeding us grease for the past 20 years. It's over. You did too much. And it's going to, it's going to give out on you. I'm technically allowed to, but I'm going to. Years ago, I was on the Steve Harvey show and it was his plus size appreciation show. So it was me... Um, a very famous comedian who I won't name just because I don't, you know, just in case. And the audience was a plus size audience, entirely plus size. So he's asking his question. Surprised the building could hold up that much, dude. Would each one of them take up two chairs? This was a plus size audience, entirely plus size. So he's asking his question, mostly about like my career and our lives, things like that. And then all of a sudden he looks at me and he said, well, you know, you don't see too many people that are older that are your size. Yeah. And of course, I'm invited to be his guest. So at first I was like, what do you mean? And then I was like, oh, I realized what you're doing. And as quick as I could, I looked at him and I said, well, you must not be where I'm from. So that's the same thing I'll tell you, baby. I'm from Mississippi. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S 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 -I -I. Okay, we're not good at a lot of things, but what we are good at is being fat, okay? First of all, dude, just because Steve Harvey or whoever else she said was at the host, like, did you expect him not to ask you tough questions? Did you think it was just going to be like a cakewalk? No pun intended. Obviously, he was going to ask you some questions. Your lifestyle is extremely questionable. And I don't care where you're from. Your body is not going to be differently. I don't know. Orient is going to handle the fatness differently because you're from Mississippi or California or any other state or country or whatever. You're not unique. You're not special. I don't care. This is a terrible way of trying to like, this is a terrible way of trying to like, Make it seem like you're different because you're from... No, I, I don't care. You're going to die um, regardless of whether or not where you were from. Like, you're not going to solve a bullet to wherever, like, the, to your head if if you were from any any part of the country. A bullet to head is a bullet to the head. The same way that obesity is obesity. It's going to affect you the same way it's going to affect everybody else. You might have a little bit more durability because of your genetics. Um, thank mom and dad for that, but that's really it. That's that's it. No, it has nothing to do with where you're from. That doesn't make any sense. But anyway, doesn't matter. We're getting the video here, guys. 
If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. If you uh, want to become a member, you can by hitting the subscribe button, which I'd appreciate. And you can also hit the join button right after that if you want to become a member. But if you don't want to, that's fine too. Completely okay. I appreciate you regardless. Thank you for taking time out of your day to stay with me and watch this cringeworthy video of Tess Holiday saying very stupid stuff. Um, I hope, I hope, also hope you enjoyed the beautiful sunlight and how beautiful Davina is today. Beautiful girl, beautiful girl. Anyway, um, speaking of beautiful individuals, I want to talk about you. I want to talk about you. But before we do, I want you to write in the comment section, dragon fruit. Because dragon fruits are, I've never had them before, but I like the flavor of dragon fruits. And only from like, you know, the artificially flavored dragon fruit, which I presume is not going to taste the same when I actually try dragon fruit, which I may or may not do. It took me like 20 something years to even try a strawberry. So I probably won't even taste a dragon fruit until I'm like 50 or something like that. So there you go right there. But I like dragon fruit. Leave it down below. Dragon fruit's uh, my favorite Celsius flavor. I'm addicted to Celsius right now. I only have one a day though, because I heard it's bad for your heart. But it's regardless, okay? Uh, you're a beautiful specimen of humanity. I appreciate your existence. Thank you for being here, by the way. Your hair is looking fantastic. The way you brushed it, the way that you combed it, the way that you oriented it, the way that you wore that bonnet, the way that you care for yourself is always so beautiful to me. I appreciate you tremendously. If you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, my Twitter, my Discord, my second channel. If you want to check out any of that stuff, feel free to do so. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. 